Make sure you check out OneFootball. It's a great app to get all your latest football news and live updates. So welcome back to another episode of the Football Transfer Show. Now, this is not to be confused with the other football news show that I do. The difference is this one is going to be talking about transfers and transfer rumors, while the other one talks about more general football news. I'm probably going to be doing these episodes once a week, so if you're new around here and you want to know all the latest football news, FIFA 20 News, FIFA 19 as well, hit the subscribe button today so you don't miss anything. So let's start with some confirmed transfers. The first few players I'm going to mention in the list have been confirmed since maybe January to March, you know, around that time because, you know, they signed on a pre-contract deal. Aaron Ramsey is the first one. He's going to go to Juventus now. This one was confirmed back in February, but, you know, I'd like to bring it to the new show as well because I just recently started it. And he's going to start his term with Juventus on the 1st of July, and he's going to be at the club until 2023, apparently. And next up, we have one of my career mode favorites, Lucas Hernandez. He's going to be joining Bayern Munich from the 1st of July as well. And uh, this was confirmed back in March the 28th. And it says, World Cup winner Lucas Hernandez will be playing in Bayern Munich colors next season. So that's a pretty good acquisition by Bayern Munich. Benjamin Pavard is also another player that's going to be going to Bayern Munich. They confirmed this on the 9th of January this year. And it goes, I can confirm that Benjamin Pavard will join us on a five-year deal from 1st of July 2019. And next up, we have a player called Ede Militao, who's going to be going to Real Madrid. And he is a centre-back, and he came from Porto, and it's going to be a six-year deal. Apparently, he's only 21 years old as well, which is incredibly young, and he's become the first signing at Real Madrid since Zinedine Zidane returned as head coach. And this was obviously confirmed a few months ago, so, you know, you have to take that into consideration. Now, this guy's contract is going to run until June 30th, 2025, and apparently he had a good season with Porto. I haven't really seen much of this guy. The problem with European football when you live in Australia is that most of the games are on at 2, 3 o'clock in the morning so you don't get to watch any of them uh, so you know I haven't seen much of him but I'll keep an eye out on him now that he plays for Real Madrid and Borussia Dortmund is playing career mode boys they've signed three players and they've announced them all already so Julian Brandt has now joined and they announced this on the 23rd of May 2019 so the other day and it goes Borussia Dortmund has completed the signing of Julian Brandt from Bayer Leverkusen on a five-year contract. And then they also confirmed the signing of Forgan Hazard, who is Eden Hazard's brother, just in case you didn't know. And he's also on a five-year contract. You can check the tweet right there. This was on the 22nd of May. And they've also announced the signing of Nico Schulz. Probably said his name wrong, but this happened on the 21st of May. So over the last three or four days, they've made three signing announcements. And uh, yeah, he's got a five-year contract with them as well. On the 19th of May, we got the confirmation that Vincent Company was leaving Manchester City after 11 years, I believe. And this guy is a fantastic human off the field as well. And uh, he's been a fantastic captain as well. Always scores some big goals. And that cracker against Leicester was the one that won them the title, to be fair. You know, he's not going to retire. He's going to become a player manager. So this guy has been playing FIFA 12 career mode or FIFA, oh yeah, FIFA 12 career mode. He got inspired by the player manager feature. And now he's joined Enderlecht, which is like his uh, debut club. And he's become a player manager for them. So that means he can play on the field and also manage the team at the same time. So company basically put out a little statement talking about how this came to be. He said he was going to be player manager for three years now. And apparently he visited them last year during the international break just to say hello. And he said he offered his help with no strings attached just in case they needed it because apparently the club is going through a rough patch at the moment. And then, you know, the management of the club started talking about it. They were thinking, and then they rang him up, offered him this player manager position. They said they're going to back him fully. And company thought about this proposal, and he believes that right now is the, the right time for him to leave the club. And uh, he says that Pep Guardiola reignited his love for the game, and he's going to try and play the Man City way. And he goes, I've done all I could with Man City now. There's nothing else I could do. He goes, the moment that ball went in against Leicester, he knew that that time was up. You know, he can't better that. So that was the confirmed news over the last week. Now we're going to be talking about the rumors that have come around over the last week. So the first one is about Max Cruz. Apparently Liverpool and Bayern Munich are both interested in Max Cruz. And he's going to be apparently leaving Werder Bremen this summer, according to Sport 1. So they're the ones making this rumor up. Apparently Bayern Munich are interested because this guy had a pretty decent season. And they're looking at him as like a backup to Robert Lewandowski. So let's talk about Joao Felix next. And apparently Manchester United and Atletico Madrid are locked in a battle to sign this Benfica wonder kid, according to a site called The Record or something. And he's 19 years old. Apparently he enjoyed a breakthrough season in Portugal, helping Benfica reclaim the league title from Porto. United have begun negotiations and are prepared to meet Felix's 105 million release clause, 
Atletico, however, remain keen. They view the player as a potential replacement for Griezmann. Now, you have to be careful with this transfer rumor because Sky Sports reports that United and Atletico Madrid are keen on this guy. But then I read another site that said Man City or Barcelona are leading the race to sign Joao Felix from Benfica. So... I don't know if half of these ones just make up stories as they go just to generate clicks. They probably do. But you just have to be careful with some rumors because maybe they're just a bit fabricated. Now, this Luka Jovic transfer to Real Madrid is just not adding up at the moment. There's so many conflicting stories. Some are saying that he's going to go to Real Madrid. Some are saying that Barcelona are in line to steal him away from Real Madrid. So I'm going to give you guys all the latest news regarding the Jovic transfer. And uh, Sky Sports apparently on their site put on a, a little statement here that says Jovic joins Real. Frankfurt striker Luka Jovic has completed a 52.4 million move to Real Madrid. Sky Sports News understands. Now, when they say understands, it's not really 100% official yet. It's Who knows if it's true or not. But then it goes, the 21-year-old Serbian international has signed a five-year contract with the Giants, which will earn him 50 million euros in total, or 8.7 million pounds a year. Now, I've also found this thing from Diario Goal, which is probably a news site. They reported that Barcelona is only too happy to mop up Real Madrid's mess as they try to steal in on uh, Luka Jovic. And he goes, while it was initially understood that Real Madrid has agreed terms with Frankfurt to purchase the player for 60 million, the deal hasn't been finalized yet with the Bundesliga club reportedly having jacked up the price to 100 million. So what I understand from this is that what used to be 60 million is now 100 million and Real Madrid doesn't want to pay 100 million or can't afford to and Barcelona is going to swoop in. I don't know what's going on here. Finally, it looks like the Manchester United rebuild has begun because James has agreed United terms. Swansea winger Daniel James has agreed personal terms with Manchester United, Sky Sports News understands. The two clubs are yet to agree to a deal, contrary to reports, but talks are continuing and James is set to become United's first signing of the summer. It is understood United are close to agreeing a 15 million fee with the championship club for James, who has one year left on his current contract. Next up, we have some transfer news regarding Ryan Sessegnon. So apparently Manchester United have made initial contact with Fulham about signing him, and this was reported by Sky Sports News. But also Spurs and Juve are also understood to be interested in the youngster who's going to be turning 19 really soon. Wow, that's, he's still very, very young. United are the only team to have approached Fulham so far, apparently. And apparently Sessegnon is understood to be reluctant to play another season in the championship because Fulham did get relegated after one season in the top like division, you know. And United want to add a young homegrown talent to Solskjaer's squad. So Ryan Sessegnon looks like the real deal for them. And because he has only one year left on his contract, Fulham are thinking that it's the right time to let Sessegnon go. We'll see what happens with this guy. I mean, with United transfer rumors, half of them never come true. Probably 90% of them never come true. So I'm not really expecting much from this story. Now, I've got an update on the Koulibaly to United situation. Last week, I reported that United made a bid of around $100 million, And uh, this week, they've been rejected, apparently. It says United's Koulibaly bid rejected. And they've been rejected because Napoli have no intention of selling Koulibaly. So that's a big problem for United if Napoli don't want to get rid of him. But apparently, he has a breakaway clause in his contract. But that does not come into effect until summer 2020. So this year, he might not go anywhere. But next year, he might be open to a transfer. So apparently Leroy Sané could be going to Bayern Munich if the German outlet kicker is correct. The Man City winger is understood to be out of favour under Guardiola and was criticised by his boss early in the season when barely starting for the club. And the president of Bayern Munich also apparently said that they are dealing with Sané and basically they want Sané to replace Ian Robin and Ribéry who are both going to be leaving. They're both wingers so they need Sané to come in. And last week it was reported that Ajax captain Delete was going to Barcelona, but this week we have an update on that story, and it says Barcelona lose hope in battle to sign Delete. New Camp may not be the Dutchman's next destination. Barcelona have fallen behind PSG and Juve in the race to sign Ajax defender Delete, according to ESPN. The Spanish champions have not been able to agree on a deal for the 19-year-old, which has opened the door for rival interest. Delete's agent, Mino Rayola, is demanding a huge salary for his client and Barca are in danger of being priced out of the running after months of negotiations. So last week it was looking like Barca was the first in line to get Delete, but apparently now he's also linked with Manchester United. Apparently the agent wants more salary for the, for the player and Barcelona can't match that, but United are willing to match that. So now he's considering United as well because they're offering a lot of money per week. And I don't even know if this is like going to happen in real life. It would be nice, you know, it would be nice to see him as a United fan in United colours. But I really doubt it, man. 
Uh, the United transfer windows are always disappointing for the most part. Who knows where this guy's going to go, but I guess we'll follow him over the next few few months and we'll see where he ends up. So we have some pretty crazy Inter Milan news. Apparently, they want to sign Romelu Lukaku and Victor Moses this summer. Conte is officially going to be named as the new manager next week, and apparently he wants Lukaku and Victor Moses because they fit his preferred style of play. You know, we'll see what happens with this. Uh, I think Lukaku could actually go, to be honest, but I'm not sure about Victor Moses. Is he, is he that good? I haven't heard about this guy for the last like couple of years. I think we should get rid of Lukaku. His first touch is horrible, and he's just not good enough to be a striker for United. We could use the money to buy someone better, someone more hungrier, someone that can actually run. I lost hope with Lukaku the moment he, he tried to become a bodybuilder. In the end, he could barely run. He was that slow. But the first touch always bothers me, and he sucks at dribbling as well and taking on players. It's also been reported that Spurs player Kieran Trippier could be going to Napoli. This was a story that was created by The Independent, and they reckon that Trippier has attracted interest across Europe, but Napoli's offer is understood to have excited him the most. Spurs are open to selling him as long as their 25 million valuation is met. And also, Manchester City are closing in on the signing of Juventus left-back Joao Cancelo, according to Portuguese newspaper Record. Pep Guardiola has struggled to identify a consistent left-back during his time at the Etihad with Zinchenko doing the job to replace injured Benjamin Mendy. The City boss is looking to sign Cancelo, who will set the Premier League champions back a reported $53 million. So that was all the latest transfer news in real life football. Next week, we'll follow up on a few stories probably. And uh, if you need something else to watch, click the card in the middle. It'll take you to my football news show. You can watch the full playlist.